hello hello you beautiful naughty creatives and welcome back to my channel it's your girl selassie and of course i'm back at you guys with another naughty banger okay this is per popular request my version of the thigh high socks that i've been seeing and been tagged in for forever on facebook and instagram so i thought why not put my own little twist on it so this is the look right here just showing you guys you know a little flex before we get started don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you do not miss another one of my tutorials now that you're all set and subscribed let's grab some wine cheers to the new subscribers and faithful subscribers that are already here let's get into the video for this tutorial the tools that we're going to need um is a 3.75 millimeter hook okay also a 5.5 um i have three different hooks here showing on the video just because um for those who ever want to increase you know um the sizing of the of the thigh highs because let's face it, some of us, like myself, have wider thighs than our calves, okay? Where my thick girl's at. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a 3.75, 5.5 5 millimeter hook, a 6.5 millimeter hook, scissors, darning needle, um, measuring tape and for this tutorial i'm actually going to be using this um really beautiful burgundy and black um mixed yarn the reason why is because i ran out of the color that i was actually using for um the other um thigh highs that i already had but if you do want to at least see the way that i ball up my yarn as well please let me know down in the comments and i would be more than happy to make a tutorial on that um but i do also have a little handy dandy book because i wanted to show you guys how to measure for yourselves so for me personally my foot size is size six the width of my foot size is a four it's four inches so you would just measure your width and then the length for me is nine inches for my foot okay so that first portion is just for the foot and then we move on to the calf my width for that is 15.5 inches and the thigh width is 19 inches and the total height for how long i uh want my project to be is 22 inches i am 5'5 so if any of you guys are um that size as well you can definitely uh keep it at the 22 inches you know it's completely up to you customizable and even if you are making this for someone else you will just need to get those measurements and you're all set so yeah let's go ahead and get right into it for this we will be starting with a magic circle okay so i'm going to repeat how to do the magic circle you just want to put it over your two first fingers and cross it over the back and grab your hook pull it up and chain one then you can go ahead and take the circle off your fingers okay and hold the circle there and now uh, we are going to be adding six half double crochets into that circle. And we will be crocheting in the round. So um, definitely make sure you grab a stitch marker or a different colored yarn just to mark where that first stitch is for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now that you've got that, just go ahead and add five more half double crochets into that circle. Okay. 
Once that's done, just go ahead and pull on the loop to tighten. Okay, so that was um, our foundation row and now we are going on to round one or row one. So for that, we are just going to be adding two half double crochets into each of those stitches. All right, so again, just going to add two half double crochets in each stitch. And make sure after you put that first uh, stitch to switch your stitch marker over so that you can keep track of um, your place. Now go ahead and add another half double crochet into that same stitch and two more into the next and repeat that till you get to the end. By the way, I will um, drop all the information for the yarn that I'm using in the description below. I actually have to find it because it did not have the, um, the wrapper attached, but I will drop that information down for you guys, okay? So now we are on to the next, um, the second row. So go ahead and remove that stitch marker. And for this row, what we are going to be doing is one half double crochet in that first stitch. Okay, and use your stitch marker again. And then two half double crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so that is the repeat for this row. One half double crochet in the next and two half double crochets in the next stitch. So go ahead and do that until the end. All right, so on to the next row, we are going to be adding one half double crochet in that stitch, another one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochets in the following stitch, okay? So one half double crochet in the first stitch, and then remember to move your stitch marker up. And we're going to add another half double crochet in the second stitch and then two half double crochets in the third stitch and that will be the repeat until the end and the great thing about this repeat is uh, you'll know if it is not correct because your last stitch before the stitch marker should actually always be two um, half double crochet so if you get to a point and it's just one half double crochet um when it's supposed to be an increase then you'll know that you know you added or didn't add a stitch somewhere so that you have to go back and redo it so go ahead and continue that all the way till the end Awesome, we're on that last stitch and you'll see I'm adding two half double crochets in there, okay? So now for the next stitch, I mean for the next row, we're going to add one half double crochet into the following three stitches and then two half double crochets in the fourth stitch and that will be the repeat.
All right, now we're adding the last two. Okay, so for me, um, personally, that was all of my increase rows, okay, to get to the um, width that I needed for myself. So now for the next two rows, So now for the next row, you just want to go ahead and add one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches and then add two half double crochets in the fifth stitch. Okay, and that will be your repeat for, for this row. So for myself and um, my width size for my foot, this is actually going to be the last increase row that I am doing. Um, this is about a three worsted weight yarn. So this has pretty good stretch to it. So the final project actually fits between a size six to eight. But if you are a larger size then you would just add let's say you're a size 9 uh, 9 or 10 you would just add one one more row one more increase row so that would be adding um, one half double crochet in the next six stitches and then two half double crochets in the seventh stitch so you would continue that increase till you know your your foot size But definitely if you guys have any questions i'm more than happy to help just drop the questions down in the comments and i normally answer within um within a couple of hours if i'm pretty busy it's just about 24 hours but i always make sure to answer all my comments and get back to you if you do have questions So now we're coming up on the end of that row where you will be adding two half double crochets in that last stitch. And since this is my last increase row, for the next, um, the next round, I'm actually just going to be doing a half double crochet in each stitch around okay it's actually going to be for the next two rows just one half double crochet in each stitch around for the next two rows so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and i will be back with you guys and this will be actually the same pro all right great so i'm coming up on the end of my second row with just the regular um with one half double crochet stitch in each across all right and i just want to show you guys um based on the measurements that i had for my foot size again i'm a size six and the width for me was four inches okay so i just want to show you guys uh with my measuring tape just how it will actually look for you so as long as you have uh, mine does reach that four four inch mark perfectly so you know you can definitely cross reference and measure yours as well to make sure that you are on the right track and that's the four inches even um, with those two additional rows because we did not increase all right so now we're about to get into the pattern portion so you want to go ahead and slip stitch to 
to that beginning stitch okay and we're going to put down our 3.75 millimeter hook and grab the 5.5 millimeter okay so now that you've done the um you slip stitch to that first stitch there we are actually going to go ahead and um yeah start with the pattern portion and we're still going to be doing that in the round so you want to yarn over and pull up a loop so chain one just to give it a little bit of height there height there and then you want to yarn over and double crochet into that same stitch add a double crochet then now you want to chain one okay and don't forget to still place your stitch marker all right so so far we did a double crochet chain one and then you just want to go ahead and double crochet add another double crochet right into that same space and chain one again all right so that is um now you're going to go ahead and skip two okay and then go into the next that third stitch i'm sorry yeah go into that third stitch double crochet chain one double crochet again and chain one all into that same stitch and that is the repeat guys it's pretty simple it's a simple one row repeat um so it's easy to follow so just make sure you skip two stitches and into the third do a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one all into that same space So I'll just let you guys watch me to see what I'm doing. Now that we're coming up on the end, again, skip two, add the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one into that same space. And you'll see that you actually have a perfect amount of stitches left between the spacing, um, two stitches left to be exact, okay? And then you're just going to go ahead and slip stitch to where you um, placed your stitch marker. Alrighty, and then you're gonna go ahead Okay, so I just want to show you guys again. Um, you're going to where you place that stitch marker after you do your chain one you're going to slip stitch to that stitch marker. Now for the remainder of the project, we are going to be working into that chain one space. That's what we're going to be working into from now on. So go ahead and Yarn over, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one all into that space. And of course, don't forget to move up your stitch marker. Um, we're only going to actually be um, moving up our stitch marker. Well, me personally, I'm only going to be moving up my stitch marker just for a couple of rows. But once we get the heel 
portion created or the space created for the heel then you're just going to go ahead and continue in the round um, without slip stitching okay so now we're just working into all of those uh, chain one spaces till we get back to the um, back to that stitch marker all right so we are on that last um double crochet chain one before the stitch marker so now you want to go ahead again and slip stitch to where you have that stitch marker Okay, and now it's just the same repeat from the row before. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one into that chain one space from the previous row. All right, and do that all the way to the end. Now, after this, um, this row, you are going to add two more rows okay so including this row technically three more rows um, before we start all right we are coming up on the end of our fifth row Okay, so go ahead and add the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one into this space. And now we are not going to slip stitch to the beginning. We are actually going to be creating the heel portion. So to create the heel portion, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and chain 16 okay you already have that chain one from the um from the pattern that you've been doing so go ahead and chain an additional 16 all right so now that you've chained that 16 i'm going to try to explain this the best way i can you want to go ahead and also from the previous row skip 16 stitches okay so the best way to break that down for you would be um skipping a total of four four of those double crochet chain one double crochet chain one spaces so i'm going to count that out for you now so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and sixteen okay and you're gonna see that it brings us to um back to a chain one space so now you're going to go ahead yarn over and repeat the pattern that we've been doing so double crochet chain one double crochet chain one into that space okay so this is the heel portion that you're going to be um we're going to come back to and work on later it might look a little you know big or spacious right now but trust me once we fill it up it's going to be completely fine okay so now I am to the last um, chain one space before that heel portion. Okay, so you want to go ahead and double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. And now for this portion here, what we're going to be doing, you want to skip 
a stitch there because that is the um, chain one from that was attached to the double crochet okay with the pattern that we've been doing so you want to go ahead and skip that and now you're going to count you're going to count three stitches because if you think about it the double crochet chain one double crochet that's three stitches in total if you look at the previous row so that's one the second one is that chain one space so that's what that second stitch is going to act like is that chain one space so that's what we're going to be going into so i'm going to let you guys see exactly what i mean there so we're skipping that first chain and then count one two and three okay and we're going into that second one all right and i just like to turn on my work and go into the back loop all right so go ahead and double crochet chain one double crochet chain one all into that stitch so now make sure you count the um, stitch that's right next to it it's gonna seem a little bit smaller so that counts as your third stitch that next one counts as the chain one after okay so you're technically skipping two stitches and then you start that um that count again so one two and you're going into the second I'm adding the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and chain one, okay? So that chain one, you're going to skip that chain one, that's that third stitch. Okay, and then the next stitch after that is the chain one. So then you wanna go one, two, and add that into the second. So go ahead and keep counting it down that way until you get to the end All right, and then you'll see that you're met back at the um, the other side, and you should have exactly four of those um, chains to match the four that you skipped from the previous row. So I'll show you guys that now. So you're going to have four of those sections from what you skipped from the previous row to make that heel in the beginning. And just repeat that all the way um, and for me I'm doing a total of 34 um, rows of that so go ahead and repeat that for 34 rows with the same one repeat so you're just gonna keep doing the same thing till you get to the length that you that you want for your project again for me um, I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm doing 34 rows before I get to the border row. So go ahead and keep doing that and I'll meet you guys back here. Now that you have the length of your project that you're looking for, um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this row. This is my 34th row here. So you're just going to again go ahead and repeat double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one into the chain one space from the previous row. All right, so go ahead and do that till you get back to the stitch marker. 
and then I will show you guys how to go about making the border okay so I'm on that last double crochet chain one all right so now what you want to go ahead and do is slip stitch to that first double crochet all right so again this is the 35th row and this is the the border so for it looks like a, a scalloped look what you want to do is single crochet into that chain one space so we're just working completely into the chain one spaces still so you're going to single crochet then half double crochet then double crochet double crochet again half double crochet and single crochet all into that chain one space okay and then once you're done with that single crochet you want to chain one and then move over to the next space so chain um, single crochet half double crochet double crochet and then you're going to do the same repeat backwards so double crochet half double crochet single crochet and chain one all into that space all right so i'm going to show you guys a few more times so single crochet half double crochet double crochet then double crochet half double and single right and chain one so go ahead and um now this is what it, it will look like all right go ahead and do that all the way to that stitch marker and i'll meet you guys okay great so once you are done with that last um scalloped edge there make sure you do your chain one and then go ahead and slip stitch to the beginning of that chain chain one and cut off your clip off the yarn and tighten here's what your border will be looking like go on to the heel portion and for the heel portion, we're actually going to be using, um, going back to the 3.75 millimeter hook. Once you've got your 3.5, 3.75 millimeter hook, go ahead and grab your yarn. And for this portion, it doesn't matter where you start necessarily for, um, with your yarn, because we're going to be going around the whole you know um perimeter of the heel so just go ahead and attach your yarn anywhere yeah so go ahead and attach and chain one okay and then we're going to go back to the half double crochets we're going to be crocheting into those spaces so Have double crochet and you just want to um, really just go and half double crochet enough to uh, fill up the, the majority of that space okay and then since this is a um, we'll call it a V stitch here that is facing upwards with that chain one go ahead and add one half double crochet in there now we're on to the next space go ahead and add um you can add about 
two to three half double crochets in the bigger spaces okay and then there's another um, V stitch add one half double crochet into that chain one space and that's pretty much what you're going to be doing for this um, first row for the heel so go ahead and do that all the way until the end okay so one half double crochet and that chain one space then about two to three half double crochets in the other spaces all right so keep going we're almost there And now when you look at this portion here where the um, V stitch looks like it's pointing downwards, you are not going to add a half double crochet into that space there. Just skip over it and go to the next space that's available and add um, half double crochet stitches in there. So you see the same thing again, skip over that. So only if the V-stitch is facing up with that chain one space in between is when you're going to add the half double crochet in that space. But if it's facing down, just skip over it and then go into the next spaces to add. All right, so we're almost back to the beginning. So keep going. And now we are at the beginning and there's a little bit more of a space so just add one more half double crochet all right and then you're going to slip stitch to that first um that first stitch there okay and then chain one okay that's what it's looking like so far and then now for this row we're actually going to start a half double um, crochet decrease so the way I'm going to do my decrease I'm going to do a regular half double crochet in that first stitch so you have three loops on your hook all right and then you're immediately going to go into the next stitch available and pull up a loop so that you have four loops on your hook then yarn over and pull through all four loops okay so that's the half double crochet decrease then the next two stitches, you're just going to do a regular half double crochet in each of those. All right. And then the next stitch is going to be a half double crochet decrease. The next two stitches, I should say. And then the next two after that is a regular half double crochet. And you're going to repeat that sequence for that second row until the end so half double crochet decrease then two regular half double crochets in the next two stitches all right so go ahead and do that and i'll meet you guys back at the beginning okay great so now that you are Back at the beginning, you're just going to go ahead and uh, slip stitch again. Okay, and chain one. And we're going to go ahead and do that half double crochet decrease again. So again, it's like a regular half double crochet. And you go ahead and go into that next stitch directly. Pull up four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. 
and then now instead of half double crocheting in the next two stitches you're just going to half double crochet into one stitch and then go back to the half double crochet decrease okay and then a regular half double in the next stitch and the next one is a half double crochet decrease so that's the re repeat for this row so go ahead and do that all the way back to the beginning okay great so yeah so now we're back to the beginning and again you want to go ahead and slip stitch to the beginning chain one again and now we are going to be half double um, crochet decreasing in each stitch across So I'll just let you guys watch me on this portion. okay now when you get back to that beginning go ahead again and slip stitch and if you get to the end and there's not uh, another stitch for you to decrease just do a regular half double crochet and then go ahead and slip stitch and now that you see the hole is getting a lot smaller so uh, for this last row we're going to go ahead and chain one again and do a half double decrease all the way to the end like we just did um, the previous row we just really want that space to be closed up as much as possible and then we're going to weave the end, the rest of the space shut. all right so once you get back to the beginning just go ahead again and slip stitch chain one and then you just want to cut off a good amount of yarn to be used to weave the end through and just pull up a loop and tighten okay and you'll see just that little small spaces left and we're just going to go ahead and weave that weave that through okay so here is that space there you just want to go ahead and put your darning needle through both sides of the space and then just go back and forth with that um, that portion of it, weaving the end um, the yarn through 
in different directions so that the um, that portion is secure. All right, and then you just want to make sure that you weave in the other ends as well. So go ahead and do that. Um, I am darning along with you and I will see you guys after we are done putting in our ends. One thing I also wanted to mention guys, make sure that you turn your work inside out because as you can see here, there's these ridges. So that is actually the um, inside of your work or the wrong side, I should say. So go ahead and flip it inside out. Okay. That way you don't have that, um, that ridging on the side. So that will be the right side of your work that way you can weave in your um your tie at the top and not have any any problems or anything but yeah guys this is what it's looking like so far i'm definitely in love with it it's like a super cute um monochromatic look you know perfect for this fall season for sure and then when it is time for us to weave in our um, tie, we're just going to go in between just like that. Okay, so go in between those um, V stitches. But I'm going to go ahead now. We're going to show you, I'm going to show you guys how to do the tie and also how to add some embellishments to it. So let's get into that. All right, guys, so on to the tie. I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to add these super cute um, beads on the tie as well. So for that, you're definitely going to need some beads, a one millimeter size hook or whatever size hook can go into the eye of the um, of the beads. And then also your 3.75 millimeter. So before we start, you actually want to go ahead and thread the beads onto the hook before we start crocheting so go ahead and put it through put that one millimeter through the um, eye of the yep of the bead and you might sometimes it might be a little bit of a struggle there in the beginning but you can do it now do the same thing to the other bead that you want to add on okay so now you got both beads added on and then go ahead and do your regular slip knot now grab your 3.75 millimeter hook and your Okay, and then to start off, before we start chaining, we're actually going to slide the first bead closest to that knot, and then you're going to do your chain. Okay, so this is the first chain here, and now go ahead and chain 99 more. I only did um a total of 100 chains for the tie so go ahead and do 100 more and i will meet you guys back here to add the other bead go ahead and oh sorry i actually needed to add one more chain so go ahead and slide your hook close to the chain okay Thank you. 
So now that you've got that portion done, what we're going to be doing now is just adding some um, tassels just so that the beads don't ever um, come undone from that area. So you just want to go ahead and clip off like a good amount. I would say about two to three inches. Okay. Or about four inches. Okay, and um, cut about two two strands of the four inches. Um, so you want to add two more. So, so you're gonna need about four strands in total, like that. So I'm gonna move this out of the way just so you guys can see how I add it. Okay, so you're gonna grab your two strands and then your 3.75 millimeter hook and you're gonna go ahead and go into that stitch that is um, around the bead grab the yarn with the hook pull it up okay and then drop the hook and just put your hand through those um, two loops and make sure you grab the yarn uh, from the end of your tie as well to pull up with everything so it's super secure and you're just gonna go ahead and tighten that and it's just as simple as that so then you're gonna go ahead and do the exact same side exactly what you just did and I'll let you guys see how I do that here okay so you are all set with your tie now you just want to go ahead and um, put them together and then clip off you know the excess yarn just so it's all even okay and now i'm just going to show you guys how to um weave that in on your sock
so you are all set now we are finally done and here is the finished project okay super cute cozy um gorgeous thigh high socks with that super cute scallop trim and the beaded um ties as well thanks so much for watching guys i'm super grateful for all of you guys for tuning in and watching this far please make sure that you like comment and subscribe so that you don't miss another one of our great tutorials okay but yeah guys this is the finished look let me know how yours turned out all links down below and as always knots of love